So now we have all of these computers in our classroom and it was really kind of overwhelming. How was I gonna manage it? How was I going to fix all of the technology problems as they arose? So we really had to go over some ground rules and establish routines in the classroom. So one of the very first things that we did is we talked about kind of expectations. When are we gonna use the computers and when are we not? So I always tell the students that if human, you know, Mrs. McLaughlin is talking, then I would like you guys to lower your screens. So we lower them almost all the way. The kids realize if they close them, it turns off the screen. So they lower most of the way and then I kind of, I wait until that happens and I know that I have all of their attention because they're so drawn to their computer and sometimes they get easily distracted. So that's, that's definitely number one. Then students are allowed to sit wherever they want in my classroom when they're working because oftentimes they're collaborating with other students using their technology. So we've just established this routine in the classroom that I have to have screens facing me. So the students are not allowed to sit with their backs to the wall. They have to sit in a way where I can monitor what they're doing when I walk around their classroom. So that is tremendously helpful. But I also kind of learned to get comfortable with checking in with my students equally. So no matter who they are, no matter what they're doing, every once in a while, I would just go grab a computer and say like, hey, let me take a look at what you're doing or what you've been doing. Let's look at your drive. Is it organized? We would look at history together. And so the, since the students knew that I was that I was pretty regular at checking in with them, it really helped to eliminate the things that they knew that they shouldn't possibly be doing. And it also created an awareness in them where they wanted to, they would tell me right away if something happened, they would let me know, hey, like I, I went to this this website, I wasn't so sure, let, let me just check in with you. So it really kind of created this trust in our classroom um, to be able to kind of monitor and know that what they're doing is what they're supposed to be doing. And if they get off task that they kind of, they let me know and they are aware of it. Something else that was really important was learning the shortcuts. So I was able to look at history real quick or I was able to know the shortcut to change screens real quick. And so that was really helpful just by being aware and knowing what to look for on the screens. It helped me keep up with the students because once they had the laptops for <laughs> like a year, they were they were already like above kind of where my comfort my comfort level was with the with the computers. So I just I would learn from them, "Hey, show me how you did that." And that also really helped in the classroom. As far as where we kept them, so students would come to school with their laptops fully charged and their charge would typically last the entire day. If they needed to charge halfway through, they would always bring their chargers and leave them in their backpack. So that way, if they needed to, they could take their charger and they can plug in their computer. We also had laptop carts. So for students who left their laptops in school all the time, their charger was always located in the cart and the carts had numbered spots. So student number one knew to put their laptop in slot number one. And then I also had the charger labeled with tape that also said number one, because there were times throughout the year where the charger had to come out of the cart and then the chargers would get mingled or like mixed together. So we needed to know whose charger belonged to who for accountability reasons. So I think once we once we kind of worked as a team and, and we saw what the laptop usage was like in the classroom and then we saw, okay, this is a problem, then we would problem solve and we'd figure out and we would set up routines and we would practice those routines and it would really help to eliminate things that came up in the future.